This right here may seem like your ordinary typical Nintendo Pro controller. And you're right. But what we're about to do to it will change everything. We're going to go ahead and make this into a Nintendo Pro Elite controller. Similar to like the Xbox One Elite controller by Microsoft. To give this controller a more hefty feel and better grip than ever before. The mod accessories that we'll be using is this Elite Gamepad Grip for the Nintendo Pro controller. Which comes available in different color options. Then we'll be using a clear shell mod for our Switch. Which the company themselves actually helped fund this video and also provided us this case by Yi Join the brand themselves. Then I also went ahead and picked up these Elite style joystick replacement for our Nintendo Pro controller. They come included in this traveling pouch which is kind of nice. And interesting enough they're actually supported to be used on the Elite controller as well. So here's everything laid down on our workbench. We have our joystick and the new grip pads on the side. Our clear shell piece on top. And first thing first, there's actually Phillips screw heads on the both right and left side of the Nintendo Pro controller as you can see right here. Which all we need to remove these is just a standard Phillips head. As a matter of fact, throughout this entire process, the only tool you really need is just a Phillips head screwdriver. Once we're done removing those two screws, the grips basically just slide out. And just to make sure everything fits right, I made sure our new grips actually fit well with the Nintendo controller. And I gotta say, after putting them on, the texture between this grip and the standard Nintendo one, the white ones, these third party ones, are actually more grippier, if that makes sense. Like, if you take a look at the texture, Compared to the standard Nintendo one, it has more texture patterns and I definitely do feel it's more easy to grip than the standard one. So taking these back off, there's two silver screws right here. Simply just take our standard Phillips and remove those two on each side, so it's a total of four. Once off, simply just put them aside somewhere where you don't lose them. And with those off, we could just simply shake it a bit, wiggle the back plate off until it just slides out. It literally just comes out really easy. And just to test fit our shell mod, see if everything fits properly. Make sure it fits, everything looks good. We could then actually remove the 3DS style removable battery back here, which is which I think is kind of nice. And they include a battery. I didn't know this until now. There's no messy cables or anything to deal with. It literally just pops out just like an old school cell phone. Back here we gotta remove these three outer screws, one in the center and one on the left and right side. Again using our standard Phillips head, let's go ahead and remove these. And then there's these two other ones that are inside the back. They're really deep in so you need a long Phillips head to reach them. Get those out. And now with those screws out of the way, the front fascia should just pop out just like the back did. And taking the two pieces of the controller apart, there's a cable that's attaching these. Simply take uh, the same flathead or your nail if you have a long enough nails. You can actually, you just need to pop this black part open to allow the cable ribbon to slide out. This one's not as fragile as the Joy-Con controllers are. So this is really easy and really simple to place back on. The Joy-Con is a nightmare because those are really thin and fragile. This is a big piece of plastic so we're good. Once it's attached, just simply slide off the joysticks and slide in our elite joysticks in the same position. They're fixed so no worries you won't mess this up. Make sure everything fits right, rotates correctly and now let's go ahead and move on. So now we have to transfer all the buttons from the original Nintendo Switch face to the new one we're trying to replace. To do this they're held together by these two screws that we gotta remove. Remove the one that are on the motherboards first and then remove the ribbon cable that's holding them together on the top. So simply just using the regular Phillips head that we've been using, that will be perfectly fine to pop it open. And then just slide it out. Now with no screws holding this bracket and the cable is fully detached, just simply wiggle it until everything just slides apart. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and move on and remove the last two screws on the motherboard itself. Now for this part, shouldn't be really that difficult. Simply just transfer all the buttons from, from the older shell, one by one. And then with all those buttons in place, place back the board and screw them all into place, but not too tight. We're going to test fit them real quick. So with all the screws decently tightened, 
Uh, test fit all the buttons, make sure they're all respawning. When you click on them, they're not stuck or anything like that. And if they're good, we could then now tighten down all the screws. Place back the bracket. The bracket literally just slides into place. And then when everything is lined up, put those screws that connect to that bracket. Test fit the buttons, make sure everything responds really well, just in case. Everything looks good. We could then connect that ribbon cable back into the board. So it goes back on very similar like how you took it off in the first place but instead you feed the cable in first and then you click the clamp down once the, once the ribbon is actually connected now before we reassemble the fascia back on the controller i'd like to quickly mention i forgot to show you guys the easter egg right here nintendo pro controllers have like a little message embedded on the circuit board that says thanks to all gamer fans i think it's cute but continuing on, I encounter an issue during the reinstall of everything. The joystick of our new Elite controller was actually causing a fitting interference. It wasn't the shell because I also went ahead and tested this out to see if this was if it was the shell that was causing this issue. But with the standard Nintendo joystick, there wasn't any issues whatsoever. So I had to do some modifications. So using Adrenal, I used Adrenal to sand out the edges and smooth it out a little bit more. And then I took some really fine sandpaper to smoothen everything out. And I also did the same thing to the pro analog sticks as well. The elite analog sticks. As you can see, they're now glossy. They're like a chrome look. And I kind of like this. It's, like, it's very reflective too. But I only had to do it on the left side for some reason. The right side wasn't really having any interference issues whatsoever. And I like it because I could still see the Easter egg when I moved the joystick down. So if you're following this tutorial to do the Elite Controller Joystick mod, you're going to have to sand. You're going to have to do slight modifications to the shell in order to get the joystick to rotate properly. But once everything was smoothed down, I simply just used really fine sandpaper, some rubbing alcohol, a Q-tip to remove all the leftover residue from the sanding. So once everything was done, basically just attach all the ribbons, but don't tighten everything down just yet. Take your Nintendo Switch. I like to do a pre-check before everything is properly reinstalled. Make sure everything is connected properly. And uh, the controller turned on the Nintendo Switch. All the buttons were responsive, so we then carried on. So just simply repeat everything. Put every screw back in its place where it once belonged. I was using the photos I took earlier as a reference. And there we have it. Our Nintendo Pro Elite controller is complete. The joysticks simply just slide into place just like the standard Elite controller. And we have three different size options to choose from as well. And I gotta say, the results were really cool and worth it in my opinion. The materials used on this case, the grip feels really comfortable. It's not matte black anymore like matte plastic like the standard Nintendo Pro outer shell originally is. But I kinda like this glossy feel. There's no awkward gaps around the shell. Nothing about this, to be honest, feels cheap. The joystick is really responsive and has an extra weight into it too, which I like. I'm able to control my movements a lot more easier. And even when gaming, I notice that these sticks feel a little bit more premium in my opinion. It just feels heavier, like good heavy, not horrible heavy that feels cheap. The clear shell gives this thing a controller a whole new look with the white grip handles. It's just, it feels really nice in the hand, I gotta say. So if you too wanna do this, the difficult scale, I will say, if you're doing the joystick mods like I did, I'll give this a seven out of 10 difficulty because it does require a little bit of modification to the joystick in order to get it all to work properly. But if you're just doing a shell mod, the grip mod, but with the standard Nintendo joysticks, there's no need to do this. So I'll give that rating an eight out of 10 difficult. The only thing challenging to this was just remembering to put back all the screws exactly where they were. But to be honest, this control was actually really easy to disassemble and tear down. It's as, it's as if Nintendo wanted us to do this, which also the removable battery really does give it away. Maybe this was meant to be repairable in the future. But uh, there you guys have it. That is the tutorial on how to mod your Nintendo Pro Controller and convert it to a somewhat elite controller with these removable joysticks. I think this is really cool. And it uh, definitely does change the whole gaming experience as well. Smash Bros plays really cool too. I was actually quite surprised how uh, quick 
and response of the joysticks was just by doing the simple mod i swear but there you guys have it that is a video on how i modded my nintendo pro controller to be a somewhat nintendo elite controller if you too also want to do this i'll be sure to link everything that i used in the video description down below if you get stuck feel free to comment down below i'll try to get back to you or i'm sure somebody else from the community will also help you out but just like any diy project do this at your own risk there is a slight chance you might damage your nintendo controller if you get something wrong just keep that in mind but again this thing came out looking really cool and i think it was worth the risk and this video shows there really wasn't any issues whatsoever and besides after watching this video i'm sure you already are better prepared on what to expect but uh anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do make sure to hit that like button that really does truly help out the channel and also get subscribed for more upcoming video similar like this one and if you're interested in finding out how i was able to do the atomic purple shell mod on my nintendo switch you click the little video right there on the corner and go ahead and watch that as well but again thank you so much for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace